Welcome to Demons and Outlaws. I'm Sosta Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And today we're going to talk about how the billionaire Warren Buffett saved Harley Davidson from going out of business. Warren Buffett loaned over $300 million to Harley Davidson in February 2009 when the story motorcycle maker was reeling from a one two punch of weaker demand and a cash crunch during the financial crisis. A few weeks earlier, Harley Davidson had unveiled a three part plan to weather the downturn. It centered on investing in its brand, finding the money to cover its financing divisions, roughly $1 billion in yearly costs. The first two elements translated into targeted younger and more diverse riders, closer plants, combining operations, and outsourcing some distribution. You would think with $1 billion a year in costs, Harley Davidson would be a little bit more welcoming to their customers they invest so much money in the product but the way they treat you when you walk into a harley davidson is never the best some i'm not gonna say all harley davidsons are like this but a lot of them stick their nose up at you they have never acknowledged motorcycle clubs they push this image of a biker that to me doesn't even exist in real life or is a small demographic of people that actually ride the motorcycles that they're pushing first two elements translated into targeting younger and more diverse riders closing plants combining operations and outsourcing some distribution and laying off about 1100 employees or about 12 percent of its workforce however paralyzed credit markets made it tricky to fulfill the third part of the plan. The company ultimately decided to borrow from its greatest shareholder, Davis Selected Advisors, as well as Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. The pair effectively loaned in a combined $600 million for five years at a hefty 15% annual interest rate it was the bridge we needed to get us through the rough time harley davidson's finance chief john olin told fortune in 2014 the manufacturer needed the cash to continue offering financing and retail customers and to keep its production lines rolling the high interest loan was its only option to borrow money without giving up a stake in the company he added buffett said i knew enough to lend them money Buffett struck a bunch of similar deals during the crisis. For example, he invested $5 billion in Goldman Sachs and $3 billion in General Electric in the fall of 2008. Credit remained virtually non-existent. Alice Schroeder said about that period in the snowball, Warren Buffett and the business of life. The famed investor also displayed his ruthlessness when he refused Harley Davidson's request to repay its loan early. Berkshire said it was happy with the agreed terms, the company told Fortune. Buffett likely netted a solid $150 million in profit from the loan, yet he could have ranked in over $1 billion by investing $300 million in Harley-Davidson's stock instead, as its shares more than quadrupled in value between 2009 and 2014. A shareholder asked Buffett why he opted for debt instead of equity during the Berkshire's annual meeting in 2010. He said, I knew enough to lend them money. I didn't know enough to buy the equity, the investor replied. I kind of like a business where your customers tattoo your name on their chest, he continued. But figuring out the economic value of that, I'm not sure even going out and questioning those guys, I learned much from them. Buffett added that he made the loan because he felt confident at the time that Harley Davidson was not going out of business and that B, 15% was going to look pretty damn attractive. Berkshire made very good money by simply determining Harley Davidson wouldn't go broke and lending it some much needed cash, Buffett said at the meeting. So I guess when we're riding around with those bikes that we love so much, we got to thank Warren Buffett because if it wasn't for him, bailing harley davidson out who knows what happened you know let me know what you think in the comments but i personally think with everything that they're doing with electric bikes and trying to switch up their style and not understanding that younger people are not riding harley davidson's it's just not happening the younger kids of this generation now they could spend a couple of g's and get a bike that could dust a harley davidson and that's what they're doing if you really look around at the younger demographic that's what i look at everybody says the stock's up and i get that but the younger demographic is not buying harley davidson and that's a problem and what will happen is that they will phase out because guess what the e-bike crowd is not the harley davidson crowd 
So what is the future gonna look like for Harley Davidson? Only time will tell. If you wanna support the row, get your Go Savelli motorcycle mask now. They're on www.demonsroad.com. I got another video where we talk about going to an outlaw motorcycle club party, learning how to hold your liquor. It'll be linked above. And thank you for tuning in to Demons and Outlaws.